Glenn, local businesses are expecting to be busy this weekend and the party you can see behind me is just one example. Now, Pride Fest itself begins Saturday afternoon, but weekend festivities kicked off with a march and rally at the state capitol. <laughs> Pride flags decorating bars, restaurants and stores across Salt Lake City. We've expanded the grounds, the festival grounds, to allow for more restaurants, more entryways and more space for people to get around, social distance if they will. Organizers of Pride Festival say in previous years before the pandemic, about 50 to 60,000 people would attend. But this year, that number is expected to be even larger. When you get 60 to 75,000 people in one place, over a couple of days and they spend money, that's a significant economic impact to the community. Joey Canella, the owner of Taco Taco, a business located across the street from the festival, says Sunday of Pride Fest is especially busy. It's a day that we just, we probably triple what our normal day is. Canella says he's a supporter of LGBTQIA plus rights and says he has supported the festival through his business for the last 15 years. We go to the parade and we're, we try to kind of participate and then usually we're back here like crazy working and there's like hundreds of people that show up all at once. Canella watched the festival grow throughout the years and he says that growth is progress towards a more inclusive Utah. It's just close to my heart with friends that I have and I think it's a really um, great thing to be supportive of um, human rights and people and their choices and um, letting people be who they want to be and, and celebrating that. Pride Festival begins at 1 p.m. on Saturday and 11 a.m. on Sunday and the parade starts at 10 a.m. on Sunday. Live in Salt Lake City, Lena Takada, ABC4 News.